hate ironing because it takes time and it takes heat and it takes pressure and I'm ready to go. They don't have time to iron that. So I take time and I take heat and I take pressure. The thing that I hate is that at some point I say to myself, it's good enough. <laughs> and I put it on and I run out and she say, it's still wrinkled. And I got to go back and play time and heat and pressure. And I find out something about the iron that's going to blow you away. The reason why the wrinkles remain is because the heat that's in the iron never properly transferred to the shirt. If the shirt would just stay still long enough to get what's in the iron onto the shirt, then some of the wrinkles can get ironed out. Okay, maybe y'all didn't understand what I'm saying. God is ready to promote some people. But the problem is you're more hot about what you're going through than what God has done for you. And God says, I'm, I'm trying to promote someone. No, you, you, I can't promote you because I'm trying to figure out whether you're ready to stop rebounding and embrace singleness because I'm ready to promote you to some, I'm trying to take you to marriage. I'm ready to promote you to marriage. And the, and the minute that I tell you it's going to take a little bit longer, look at your face, look at your face, look at your face, all frowned up, all wrinkled up. Oh, you got some wrinkles? Oh, we can take care of wrinkles. It's going to take some more time and some more pressure and some more heat. I need to know. I need to know that you can have a smile while you're volunteering, even while you're unemployed, because if I can trust you to have the right attitude while you're volunteering, I can promote you to the job you've been praying for. God says you don't represent you when you walk out of here. The question becomes if God promotes you, is your heart ready to promote him?